There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, let's try to bring you this way a little bit. There you go. Wow. <laughs> Moved. <laughs> 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 Even I didn't expect that one. <laughs> this is the injury. There's an injury right here. What I like to call the Zooey Mama. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the finish line. Well, uh, I was at a zoo the other day and my mama was there and... Uh... Last time you saw that uh, injury to the right side of the neck, neck mm -hmm. tinted to mm -hmm. the left, left shoulder elevated, and also there was an elevation on the mid uh, part of the left back. And uh, you know, I, I was curious like how they progress as yes. I do the general stretches. So I okay. actually took some pictures. Let me see. Yeah. Interesting. Show me. So now, this one mm -hmm. is one month yeah, one. after um, being here. Yes. And then it's a few weeks after that. Yes. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> Level mm -hmm. now, yeah. And then, but I noticed actually there is variations like from day to day. So mm -hmm. like this one, I think it mm -hmm. looks maybe a little worse, but it's right before mm -hmm. uh, flying to here yesterday. I got you. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, clearly there there is um, you know progress like going from here to something like this. Yes. Definitely mm -hmm. progress. So awesome. yeah, that's it's definitely good. Cool. Um, and then um, the, as far as the pains goes, uh, upper back pain, yes. uh, that I think that has been less. Okay. But uh, um, I've noticed there's a little bit of pain shifted to the mid back. Okay. Right. So like especially like many many times over the past mm -hmm. 90 days when I wake up in the morning, there's pain in my mid back. Parts of the, in that area has never felt much before. Um, I think it had, but not as much as it has uh -huh. been feeling over the past 90 days. So part of it is we're going to have pains from waking up areas, right? So parts of your spine that haven't been working aren't going to love, that's why I always tell people, they're not going to love being tasked, right? Mm -hmm. So you have areas that are abused that brought you in here, and then we have areas that were frozen that now are going to start working, and you're going to go, I'm not even used to feeling this area. Mm -hmm. And that's part of, and now those areas will start to calm down, and they will get used to working again. Right. They might have been, in terms of feeling, you might have felt them as the original injuries. Usually the middle back has all of the original oldest injuries in there. Maybe you felt them like you know, 10, 20 years ago. Yeah. They locked down and then you have that compensatory. I see. And then, so there is a, a couple more things that I noticed, uh, at least I'm not sure it was there before, Please, but yeah. I noticed. So one thing is like with, when I'm rotating my torso, like, like right now, right mm -hmm. here, it's so much, tension on the right right and then, and then also left side uh, still there is a little bit but not as much as on the mm -hmm. right and uh, so that that's one thing another thing is uh, about a couple of months ago i had a neck spasm on the left side okay and then uh, just ever since then if i'm uh, looking up like that and then to the left i feel pain I, feel, I mean that's an extreme position i mean that's, nice that's i mean that's so you're taking when you bring your head back, the joints are compressing. And then if you rotate, now you're really compressing the joints. And so compared to either side, like this side. Correct. Right. There shouldn't be any pain, but that's, right. that's, those, right. those are injuries. Gotcha. There's, there's an injury in there, and we'll try to get in there and clean it up. The MRI that you have shows two disc injuries. We have two uh, central disc bulges uh, in the cervical spine, two, one between C4 and C5, and then one between C5 and C6. That involves the shoulder and then can eventually even go down to your thumb and index finger so that the nerve pressure now they are what do you say at the I would say grade one you know they're the, the minimalist grade they can be but there are like a sense cavities in the teeth in there mm -hmm. and when you have an injury to a disc you also have to have an injury to the joint now the disc doesn't have any feeling so what you can feel is and I bring my head back I rotate and I feel something that's the injury to the knuckle but Ultimately, the joint will just get a little bit, little bit bigger and maybe can hit the nerve, but it's the disc health, that cartilage health that's in there is going to what, be what determines the health of your spine as going forward and going into your later years. We need to make sure that disc slows down and it's aging. So you're looking to our left, mm -hmm. but these are the, I'll, I'll start with this side here. So that's the, these are the discs here. That's your spinal cord. These are the little bumps in the back. This is the back of your skin. So 
we'll, this little white line represents a cross section. So we're taking a cross section saw, and that's what's going to be on the right hand side. So we're taking a cross section of the C5 disc, two, three, four, five, between five and six. And then this is the overhead shot. So that little nugget right there mm -hmm. is what we're talking about. That shouldn't be, so your spinal cord is right here. Right. And that, um, so they call it the fecal sac, is the outside of your. Um, cerebral spinal fluid, the disc is actually starting to indent the outside of the spinal cord, and with that there's a lot of inflammation, but the ability for that, you know, that disc should be, you know, way over up there at the top. Mm -hmm. And let me see if I can get one more picture. This is the segment right above, so this is the disc above. That's the hand if you want. Or well, no, it's another it's injured, not, it's, it's another injured, so it sort of should be over, there shouldn't be anything past like that, that line. I see. That, that black line should be solid, and then that, that little piece right there is the, is the bulging disc. We call that a central disc bulge. You know, there's your, your spinal cord is that gray circle there, and so that disc is starting to come out. Now, the reason why that disc starts to go towards your spinal cord is because there's so much pressure on the front for so many years, or injury to the joints that then makes your head go forward. So this is why we want to, as much as possible, the restoration of your curve in your neck, and cleaning out the tissue in the back so we can depressurize the disc, prevent that disc from further progressing forward towards that spinal cord. Mm -hmm. I've seen way worse necks at 31. You have a long, you have many, you'll be, you have a long potential and there's a good neck. Mm -hmm. I've seen way worse. Mm -hmm. But we want to, I mean, if we want to be picky, yes, we need to take care of those injuries. Mm -hmm. The, you know, a lot of it can be with the roller and den rolls. The, you know, the hard th part part is finding somebody to clean you, mm -hmm. you know, either through gua sha or deep tissue work adjustments you know I know it's unfortunate in our world doesn't there's not I guess not a lot of money in this perhaps in the sense that most people want to have like gadgets and tools and just adjust you and let you do they don't want to do all the soft tissue work but that's really what it takes to to get at least in a reasonable amount of time a place where nothing hurts you should be able to rotate both ways and it just like we should feel the same to the right as the left it should be easy right there should not be any difficulty that's all well, it's something to work on. So there, there's just a couple please, more things. Please. Last time uh, I also recorded pain and the left side of the shoulder here and also pain uh, to this pig area here. So the uh, left side, uh, the left back uh, of the shoulder got way worse about uh, about two months ago, about one month after our last visit. Okay. Um, but I, I, I don't think it has anything to do with what you did because it's been that way over the past couple of years. Right. There are times that it's getting worse, I have to adjust my training, and then it gets better, and then I gradually get back to my training, and then it's after like five or six months later, again gets worse. So burning, shooting, what were you feeling? Yeah, burning, feeling like mostly uh, like within an hour or so after training it's to this area. It's a disc. Disc. It's That's a disc, yes sir, 100%. When you're working out, you're, com so this, this disc changes. It's not, mm -hmm. this is a static picture of something that changes when you're, when you lift a weight, that might go out another few millimeters, mm -hmm. you understand? It's it's like a jelly donut. You you squeeze it, it comes out. And then you depressurize it, it comes back in a little bit. It's jello, you know. So it changes based on how much compression you're putting that disc on. And when you're, you know, if too much stress is happening in one segment, right. that nerve's gonna that burning is 100% nerve. All right, scoot down a little bit. Scoot down. There we go. A little sit up for me. Sit up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Beautiful. Deep breath in. Let it go. Exhale. Very nice. One more. Exhale. Let it go. Relax. Very nice. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I think I moved better last time. Yeah. Let's go to your side. There we go. Deep breath in. Exhale. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Beautiful. That side for me. Uh -huh. There you go. Exhale. Uh -huh. Let's go face up. Oh, good, huh? Yeah. So you you abuse the left side. Mm -hmm. Again, that the left side is the abuse side. Mm -hmm. The ultimate. See, when you bring your head back and left, the left side is the more stressed out side to begin with, and then being the more stressed out side, when you put it, when you rev the engine to rev line, that's when you're noticing. Hey, it's. But I would. It's like you're oh, you're so hypermobile on the left mm -hmm. that that's why you feel pain on the left when you do that, and even that symptom down to your left side. 
it's a right avoidance here. And it's it's much smaller. This is, I mean, it's I'm being picky here. It's about a millimeter, but this this right here is the problem. Oh, chin up. There you go, very nice. Ooh. Yeah. Chin up for me. There we go, yeah. Just round one. Yeah, scrub all this. Your neck doesn't see part of it when you bring your head back into the right. You actually don't have as much range of motion this way, mm -hmm. and that's why it doesn't hurt so much because it actually doesn't bend. When I've been doing dinner roll um, mm -hmm. for the neck, I've always uh, turned it to the right. For Good. The past Good. Um, yep. Three months. It's it's been it's al you're almost another <laughs> probably another three months. I probably won't even ask you to do that anymore. <laughs> you know, it's you're, you're it's it's definitely not that big right now. It, it's mm -hmm. minimal, but it's. It's still indicated to go to the right here. This is this is unlevel. There we go. Yeah, right there. Right You just try to relax into the table, let your body go, let your neck go. <laughs> Doing great. Nobody does this to me, Ed. <laughs> Nobody. I've had police officers tell me if somebody even did this to them when they were out in the street, they would shoot them. I'm like, okay, and your visit's over. <laughs> yeah, but I know. There cannot be anything when I do this. Just, Ed, is that all you got? Done. Come on. Okay. Hey, the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this the, the restriction right at the top there. I feel that that has to be some attention needs to be put on that as much as possible. Right there, right in the upper cervical. Mm -hmm. It's your main engine. There's evidence, this is what allowed the lower neck discs, the C4, the C5 disc to be mm -hmm. injured, was because of this. So uh, should I put the dinner roll like up there when I... Yeah, well you're gonna, there's gonna be traction on the injured discs pretty much because the dinner roll is up here. So this is where the, we're trying to loosen your upper neck and get it to curve. Mm -hmm. And then on the down slopes of that curve, the lower neck where the mm -hmm. discs are injured will get some traction mm -hmm. and, and you know, depressurize, we call it extension traction. So yes, mm -hmm. I don't need the, I don't need the dinner roll directly on C5 mm -hmm. to help C5. Because mm -hmm. the, the worry that I have was that we, that we could pinch something by putting it on there or we'd be further mobilizing and loosening what's already loose. So I don't want to, I, I don't want to loosen any further where the discs are injured. We want to loosen this guy. That. This is nice. He's through boot camp. Now we can go. Now we can go deep. 
first visit's always like, you know, introduction to this. Yeah. <laughs> get people used to being beat up. It takes me a few visits to even get people to be able to handle what I want to do. Chin down a little bit. There you go. Good. You got it. There you go. The tighter the pec becomes, the more the shoulder rotates forward. So stretching this, keeping this pec stretched is important. things that the nerve adds up, right? So the, the disc in the neck represents some percentage. The channel that the nerve travels through represents some percentage. The elevation of the ribs in the upper back represents some percentage. And all the things additive, additively give you that sensation of burning, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're after you're working out, the ribs were maybe a little bit more elevated by a few millimeters. The muscles had been just worked out, so they had a lot of extra lactic acid in them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Even the disc staying the same, those two other things, then a couple hours later, a day later, accumulated enough inflammation to then bring the nerve what we call over threshold. Mm -hmm. So there's not the nerves don't really send much signal until they reach what we call the action potential, until they reach that threshold. Hmm. Well, it's interesting because uh, for the past two months, I've been putting like minimal attention to my mm -hmm. like upper body in general. Mm -hmm. But then it's so much coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's an accumulation. I'm 100. Mm -hmm. It it's generally somebody in Sarasota. It takes me a good six seven visits to get to get to a place where not much comes out anymore. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, if you're to, even to some degree, even if you're if you're an athlete and you're doing stuff, there's always going to be a level of exhaust build up. Like right here, the deltoid and your tri and your triceps. There's and this is where it can get be confusing. Even though you might not be doing a workout, because there can be nerve irritation, these muscles can be just working out even when you're not mm. wanting them to. The disc can tighten muscles because of the when when a nerve hits a when a disc hits the nerve, it causes exhaust to start forming in the tissue. And 
I'm not doing anything yet. Correct. Mm -hmm. The nerves upset. It's it, it it creates odd things like that that are hard to connect with. But yeah, it's definitely a lot more on this right side here. Wow. This area too. Mm -hmm. Um, recently, it just keeps bicep happening. tendon. Yeah, but like upper bicep, like around this area. Yeah. Yeah. Bicepital groove mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to go this direction. You want to push all those attachments back mm -hmm. down onto the bone. That direction. Mm -hmm. Everything in here is designed to replace. We don't have to cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Assuming the nerve's not upset too much, you know, everything can replace. Mm -hmm. A little mark coming out right there. Wow. Right, you just, these are, the nerves are traveling right through mm -hmm. that channel. So having that much inflammation in there is is a piece of it. It's at least 33% of why. This is the right side? That's the right side, yeah. It's all right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, upper traps are uh, always an area is overactive for me. I always feel that even you know, when I do something like deadlift, uh -huh. which, why would it be like upper traps? But I feel always the next day I feel a lot uh, upper trap. Well, I mean, deadlifts, that, that's all has to stabilize. All those mm -hmm. muscles are engaged, even mm -hmm. though they may not be shortening, they're having to lock. Mm -hmm. Like the frame's twisted, you know, you're, even when you're deadlifting, the left side being elevated still, we're going to just, I would, I'd almost, I'm going to show you something new today where we actually just push on the left side. Mm -hmm. So the next step is what I, what I do is I put the dental roll where it's mm -hmm. only on one side of the spine, right? Mm -hmm. First we handle it in the middle, and then the next advanced way to do it is that mm -hmm. you actually just contact the left side. Mm -hmm. And if you're ready, and if it's not too upsetting, you know, we try to do 20 minutes with it just contacting the left side here. But yes, this right here, it's a, it's you know, pretty large distortion. This yeah. has to be. I feel it on the dinner one too. Like when yes, I put the dinner one. I'm sure you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, Ed. I feel crooked. Yeah, Correct. I, I know you do. We, it's so. Let's try it. What we're going to do is we're going to shift it to the side a little bit, mm -hmm. and. The right side's doing so great that I don't want to, I don't want to move the left side. Sorry, the right side anymore. Mm -hmm. Let's try to get the left side to catch up. Mm -hmm. And it's it's already moving better, but it's the right side's accelerating faster than the left side's accelerating. Mm -hmm. So we have to kind of slow down the right, get this to catch up.
knot up there at the top, just another way to, instead of using my knuckles, use my elbow. Work that knot at the top there. Also traction that, that disc a little bit, just open it up a little bit. <laughs> well, I was at a zoo the other day and my mama was there and uh, It is remarkable how quickly your back does level out. Mm -hmm. We just need to hold, I'm gonna actually, another idea also is to actually lay on your side a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we actually be on your left side with the roller. I probably would do a roller. You can do the den roll, but mm -hmm. you know, having it you know, on your left side mm -hmm. and just try to do 20 minutes on that left side and that you're laying on your left side. Mm -hmm. There we go. But it does level out. It's just, just mm -hmm. There's injuries in here that make you want to avoid it, and then the work gets thrown to the right. But in there, so it's got to keep sifting through. There's, there's, there's something here. It doesn't do that for no reason. It doesn't mm -hmm. because something on the left is injured, and your body's trying to get away from it. You can see where it happened. There's some here, but it you know, just got torqued. That's when you're rotating, you're feeling it. Mm -hmm. I see a feeling more on the right. The right's what you mm -hmm. feel more. That's this again, this is the abuse. See, you don't actually rotate properly this way. It's mm -hmm. the same thing with you know your neck, it's the same mm -hmm. you know, you're, right. you're hypermobile on the right, hypermobile over here. You're hypermobile over here. Mm -hmm. You're stuck, more stuck over here. Mm -hmm. You're more stuck over here. Mm -hmm. You don't feel it so much on the on the tight areas. Mm -hmm. You feel it on the compensatory areas. When you rotate to your left, you, you mm -hmm. don't do that very well. <laughs> the spinal joints are doing great. It's more of a rib injury. That's why we got to go on our lateral. We got to go lateral on this. This is the injury. There's an injury right here that is tilting him to the right. And then so he's already jammed on the right. And then when he rotates right, he just further jams it. You know, most parts now are just becoming pink. You know, like a darker, I mean, a, a, a lighter red, let's call it. And then it's very. Very spotty areas are becoming that darker mark. You know, all that really should happen is be, your back becomes kind of light reddish. And that's when you've really reached the, you know, the finish line. Or what I like to call the Zooey Mama. And, uh, I mean, yeah, the finish line. This is just already, you're just abusing the, the right. This side's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing, but in terms of injury, it's all on the left. We're actually going to go back.
<laughs> Moved. <laughs> Even I didn't expect that one. <laughs> oh my, this is really dark, yeah. Hmm. That's, that's, that's what's causing, essentially, this to happen. Right. You don't like to go, that's why I tried to, I had you, I was arching your back and I was making you go into that. Mm -hmm. We have to hold it now. We, as much as I would love to say the adjustments, and nobody should ever teach or say that adjustments change posture, and they can't. We have to stretch. Mm -hmm. The adjustments are used to help this become more effective and actually mm -hmm. this to actually do it, but we have to mold. Yep. And bring, there you go. You can get your head on there if you can. There you go, relax. Then we're going to move down a little bit more. Get the idea? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. We're going to be compressing you. Let me bring this down a little bit. Sorry. My dad used to do this to me. <laughs> Not too much? No. Not too difficult? Okay. No. Yeah, we have to kind of press that down. Well, I don't have anyone to do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is an assistant. <laughs> right on it, right on it. He's got to hold that. Even your your body weight is also just time. Mm -hmm. You're saying, I mean, if you could have somebody help press you in, it's better. But you, know, you just got to mold. It's just laying on your side like this, pressing that right on that dark spot. Mm -hmm. I generally give like a one month prescription. <laughs> you should feel a good stretch on the yes. on the other mm -hmm. side. You know, that's what you're looking for. Is that really? It's Part of it is that the left have to, has to be compressed, but mm -hmm. part of it is that the right has to stretch open. Mm -hmm. So here I feel Correct. very tight. Yeah, like in here, yeah. This has to all open. Yeah, all the way down to the glutes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> These strings are tight. Was good. Before we give it a shot, right. kind of press back into mine. There you go, good. Yeah. 
Go ahead and just uh, maybe roll to your side for a second. Just roll to your side, I'll get you off. And then the idea is now come back onto your back now. Come on back. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Get the idea? Right. Mm -hmm. Where it's mainly just contacting that left side, mm -hmm. right over that big bruise. <laughs> so should I also. You can, sure, you want to work it. But it, it feels like you're falling off of it. But you, you, you want it contacting just like this is a midline, you want to have it just contacting like that. Yeah, gotcha. And you could lay on your side on it also. You can lay on your side, you don't have to use a roll, or you can lay on your side on this mm -hmm. in addition. Yeah. You know, if you want to get more pressure, you kind of roll onto your left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you just like we did with the roller, yeah, you work that and just the goal is twenty minutes. It has to be twenty minutes. Yeah. And then you'll see change. Yeah, <laughs> this <laughs> now this feels comfortable. So I can beautiful. Yeah, you just gotta it's just time. It will level out. There's there's just ligaments preventing it. There's joint injury, soft tissue injury, avoidance, and in and actually, like we said earlier, the right side stretching is what has to happen. Mm -hmm. As much, if not more, than what the left side has to compress, the right has to open. See, being collapsed to the right, this is all tight. Mm -hmm. And then, so even if you compress this, that tightness on the right just pulls you back, mm -hmm. pulls it right back out of alignment. I had a question. Please. I had a question for you. Please. So the, um, my left side uh, was elevated, and like you mentioned last time, was the right neck uh, injury to the right side of the neck. So it's, mm -hmm. uh, would you say like of all the patients you have with shoulder imbalance, yes, is it more common to see left side is elevated or right side is elevated? What you have is the most common. The most common. So, but like, how is this? Because the I injury know. to the <laughs> neck is like random. I so know. why would it be? Well, one side more likely than the other side. I've, that's the question Dad and I debate all the time. I don't have a, I'll give you my opinion. Uh -huh. Nobody talks about, nobody ever asks that question. It's uh -huh. a really great question. He's asking about why, why is there more right atlases essentially? Mm -hmm. So the atlas is over to the right, which makes your head, essentially we have more left head tilts. Part of me thinks that it can be a birth trauma. Um, part of me believes that it also is compounded by more people are right handed. You know, mm -hmm. so people that are more right-handed are going to be, you, know, you drive with the left hand on top of the steering wheel, so you feed. You know, so if you're more right-handed, you're going to be, when you lift something with your right arm, you're essentially, your head has to tilt left mm -hmm. to lift hard with the right side. Right. So you're stretching out that side more, which then creates and feeds that. So, mm -hmm. But it's not true because, I, I mean, not completely because I know that plenty of right-handed people that are strong that are blown out to the left. Mm -hmm. It's not just that. It's not like left-handed people all have a left atlas and right-handed people all have a right atlas. Mm -hmm. I've never found that correlation. Mm -hmm. um, my dad's at, my dad's neck is left. Most, actually, I know I, I, I more think about people that are left yeah. than I do think of people that are right. Yeah. My wife notices it usually. I when I go to the, just the neck, I'll start with the biggest misalignment mm -hmm. first, which in your case was the right. And I think most of the time, Carl, you see me starting with the right. But there's a few that I'll start with the left. My dad would be one of them. You know, there's there's these weird left atlases, but you're right. I, it's a good question. Yeah. I don't have a. I, I think. Um, so now, with what you said, like, would you say it would help if at the gym I do some like uh, grab a heavy weight on my uh, left side? Left. Carry, yeah, that's carry right. Around. That's yeah. right. That's right. That, that would that would undo it. That would that would that wouldn't feed it. Yes. Feeding, doing more on the right side feeds that. Mm -hmm. That, that head tilt, which then creates the thoracic in combination with those injuries. Like, if it was just that, you wouldn't have a big dark mark. That mm -hmm. dark mark is an injury. So, that's a, so it's been injured. The, the tissue originally all look, like if you look at, you know, fibrinogen underneath the microscope, it all looks very organized when it's new. Mm -hmm. And then when we have injuries, it tears, and then it heals mm -hmm. <laughs> like that. You understand? Mm -hmm. And so, that's what that is. When I'm running, so if I, if I, if I turn it this way, <laughs> do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now you have a bump, right. right? So the tissue now is, now when I run a gua sha tool over it, I run into that mm -hmm. tangle that's there. So it's, a, it's an injury that didn't heal the way it was originally. And 
and then it, those injuries can compound where you actually have an injury right adjacent to it, and then that starts to grow the actual scar. All four of my children, when they were born, favored turning their head one way. All of them. Mm -hmm. Meaning if I had my baby mm -hmm. and I lifted my baby up and I uh -huh. gently laid him down, they would just, mm -hmm. right? And then if I just gently turned an hour old person's head mm -hmm. this way. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody care about that? This child that's an hour old mm -hmm. and we know in utero, the baby's not in just a perfect fetal position. They're actually rotated when we're mm -hmm. in. So I think it goes back to the position you were in the last three months of your pregnancy. Kids, if you're, if you see, if you come out like this, when you're born, you favor rotating to whatever side that you were laying in the womb, and there's nothing anybody can do about that. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just there's no, you, there's not enough. You actually you call it restitution, I believe, is the word we used for the spiraling. When the babies are born, we actually spiral our way out. Mm -hmm. We're rotated. We're, we're like a spring. It's rotated when we're growing. So, with that knowledge, we should be checking infants at birth and trying to minimize that misalignment. They're not checking for it, and it was very easy to address that at birth. But then if you, let, if you leave that alone and don't even address it, then the kid grows with that favoritism. The baby goes home, they continue to want to turn their head one side, they always sleep on that right side, and then you finally become an adult and you have a so it's, it's a complicated, the answer was probably everything right. all together, compounded with injuries, compounded with which side do you like to favor. Good, yep, come on up when you're ready. There you go, yeah. <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Yeah. There's yeah. more than ever. It, it's, good, it's good, yeah, it just, it's a matter of just holding, you have to do that every day. You miss a day, it's like missing a day of brushing your teeth, you know. Yeah. Your breath stinks again. You know, you have to do it every day. Yeah, I did like past 90 days. Good. I did at least twice a day, at least once Beautiful. a neck, at least once thoracic spine. So keep. Back, keep. And that one is added now three times a day. Yeah. <laughs>